Last night, I received some messages about Taylor Nicole Dean's Instagram stories where she discusses kind of trying to manage her life a little bit more and find balance between her regular life and her social media life. But she also discussed Suboxone withdrawal and some people asked me to dive into that subject. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community or pop culture in general, try to see what we can learn from them. And addiction is something that I'm very passionate about and I'll dive more into that in a second. But my goal with this video is I hope that it can help you if you're struggling with addiction or if you know somebody struggling with addiction, hopefully it'll help. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're not yet, follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul, all right? And with every video that we do, we donate 20% of the ad revenue to a good cause. So this video, 20% of the ad revenue will be donated to Faces and Voices of Recovery. This is a great, great, great organization that goes out there and really tries to decrease the stigma around addiction. They actually try to get different laws passed and everything like that. So if you'd like to donate to them directly, I will put a link down in the description below, all right? So yeah, uh, Taylor Nicole Dean, I believe last time I checked, she celebrated four months sober and yeah she came back um and she made a video not that long ago sharing her her story about how she became addicted to opioids and it was it was a powerful powerful story and now she really wants to use her voice to try to help others out there but she posted um some stuff on instagram yesterday and we're going to talk about it so before i dive into that those of you who don't know me hi i'm chris um i'm a recovering alcoholic as well as a drug addict much like taylor nicole dean my drug of choice was opioids. I got clean June 23rd, 2012, so I've been clean a little over seven years. I'm a certified life coach. I worked in a drug and alcohol treatment center for a little over three years, and we did everything from medical detox to inpatient to outpatient and aftercare, and I'm currently pursuing my CADC, which is a certified alcohol and drug counselor license. All right, so anyways, let's dive into what Taylor Nicole Dean uh, said in her stories yesterday. So yesterday she posted this in her stories. It says, hi all, I've been taking a break from social media after I noticed I'm beginning to become too invested in my online presence compared to everything else in my life. It began to be unbalanced and kind of crumbled after a dramatic and stressful day online, which I then stayed up for around 35 hours and forgot to take my meds so long, I went into severe withdrawals. My outpatient program got very concerned for me that day and we decided that I need to rebalance my priorities and move social media back down to the less importance it belongs with and sorry I don't have uh, the other one I thought I screenshotted it but I didn't and now it's gone <laughs> but here's um, something else that she just posted um, right after this a screenshot from her Twitter that says gonna do a video that talks about the basics of the illness of addiction and how it all works for the few I discovered tonight that are still confused on how the illness is different than just becoming physically dependent on something, I encourage y'all to watch it with open minds. I almost got angry at the few profiles I found tonight that were focused on attacking me, but then remembered I've yet to do a single video on how it all works in the brain. I'm also gonna work really hard on it for everyone who's been so open-minded and kind towards my journey. All right, so a few things from that. Like before we dive into the Suboxone topic and withdrawal, like this is so dope. Like Taylor Nicole Dean, as somebody, you know, who got clean and sober, um, she's sharing her experience and she's also sharing what she learned. I really admire that in people because here's the thing, not everybody can go to treatment. All right, and not everybody can gain that knowledge. For example, me, when I got sober, I had no money, no health insurance, nothing. I didn't get to go to a rehab and actually learn about addiction, all right? I had to go do that on my own. So it's awesome that Taylor Nicole Dean is going to make some videos discussing what she learned in treatment about the science 
of addiction and relay that information. Like that's really, really cool because like I said, so many people don't have the opportunity to go to rehab. Like 12 step programs are free and awesome, but like for example, like uh, the, the big book of AA that was written in the 1930s and although there is a, a chapter in there called the doctor's opinion, like that is old doctor's opinion, you know, from the 30s and stuff like that. There's actually a lot of science out there today. The other thing I wanna talk about is Taylor Nicole Dean recognizing as well as people in her life, like her outpatient program and I'm sure members of her support group, noticing that imbalance. And yeah, like from my experience, that first year of recovery is so hard. I've been meaning to make a video about it, but my second year of recovery was actually like three times harder than my first one. But yeah, we need people in our lives who can help point out like, yo, I'm noticing an imbalance. Because I remember when I first got sober, somebody said, I think in a meeting somewhere, they said recovery is all about balance. And I was like, yes. Because those of us with an addiction, like we go to extremes, right? Like we don't just have one drink, we have all the drinks. We don't just have one drug, we have all the drugs. But this goes into other aspects of our lives. And sometimes when we get sober, from my experience as well as those I've worked with, we can become addicted to something else, whether it's relationships or whether it's our work or whether it's social media or whatever it is. And we need to step back and say, okay, why, why are things becoming difficult again, right? Like we get clean, we get sober to have this awesome, amazing life. And when things start getting all out of whack, it's like, okay, what is happening? Because a lot of us, and even those who aren't in recovery and have never struggled with addiction, a lot of us have this kind of delusion that the drugs or the alcohol are the problem, right? One of the biggest things that I learned in early recovery was if you take the alcohol and drugs away from me, my life can still become a hot mess because I can become addicted to anything. So it's awesome that Taylor Nicole Dean is sharing about this experience and having that clarity, all right? So Taylor talks about how she stayed up and she forgot to take her meds and she went into withdrawal. So Taylor, coming off of opioids, she's uh, been on Suboxone maintenance. She's shared about this before, all right? So those of you who don't know, let's talk real quick. What is Suboxone, okay? This is a medication typically um, used for opioid addicts when they are getting off of opioids. Basically what Suboxone does is it tricks the brain into thinking that you're still using the drug, all right? Opioid withdrawal is absolutely brutal, all right? So thank God for medications like Suboxone. So these, um, they can be taken short-term or long-term depending on your personal preference as well as your doctor, all right? So like Taylor Nicole Dean, she went to a rehab, but even if you don't go to a rehab, there are many addiction specialists out there who you could see like kind of in an outpatient format and detox that way um, and discuss with them the options of short-term versus long-term. I'm gonna share my opinions in a little bit. But anyways, uh, unlike Taylor Nicole Dean, I didn't uh, take Suboxone. And listen, I'm not saying that to brag, okay? Here's the story behind that. Uh, when I got sober, uh, my mom, uh, she was a clinical director at a rehab and there was a doctor there too and this doctor was a dick, but he, he saved my life though. Um, but anyways, when he evaluated me to see if I needed to be on Suboxone or anything for withdrawal, uh, I didn't know, I was so ignorant about all this stuff. I didn't know that I was gonna withdraw like I was. So I lied to this dude. I lied to this dude about how much I was taking. I was like, yeah, I just like snort a lore tab here or there. But I was like snorting like 100 milligram morphine pills and other stuff, right? Like it was way worse. But like for some reason I lied to this guy. So he's like, okay, your withdrawal shouldn't be too bad, right? And within a matter of a day or two, once the opioids started leaving my system, I went into a wicked withdrawal. I was in a sober living house and I was just in bed and I made a video about what opioid withdrawal is like from my experience and it is just awful. Just aches and pains and cold sweats and shakes and stuff coming out of both ends and it is not good. And I called the doctor back and I was like, oh, I was like, help me. I was like, I lied. I need to be on Suboxone because like everybody else in my sober living house, like they were tapering off Suboxone for the withdrawal. And the, uh, the doctor pretty much said to me, he's like, oh, too bad you lied. Click. <laughs> so I had to do a cold turkey opioid detox. But like I said, like if I was given the option for Suboxone, I would have taken it. Now, again, um, 
short-term Suboxone versus long-term Suboxone. So uh, some of my closest friends in the sober living house, and they're actually still sober today, so we all have, you know, over seven years now, um, they, uh, they were on Suboxone maintenance for like a long time. So to put it in perspective, at the treatment center I was working at, when people would detox off Suboxone, we would do pretty much one to two weeks max, unless the doctor felt it was necessary to keep them on longer. Like there were different uh, conditions. Like for example, um, I remember uh, one young woman who was pregnant, right? And they had to keep her on Suboxone, you know, to help protect the baby because, you know, when your body goes to any through anything, it affects the baby too. But anyways, so my friends, they were on Suboxone long-term, kind of like Taylor Nicole Dean is, and they they finally wanted to get off, but they were on it for months. Now, the thing is about Suboxone, even though it, it helps with opioid withdrawals, when you get off of Suboxone, there are withdrawals as well. So I remember watching my buddies, like they, they it felt like they just prolonged that withdrawal, right? Um, for like, I think it was like four or five or six months. And anybody out there who's trying to get off Suboxone, I'll tell you this, um, these two, they started um, eating healthy and things like that. They also started doing yoga every day and they said it helped a ton. All right, so there's a lot of holistic ways to help you get off of Suboxone. So like when I saw what they were going through, I was like, wow, because my withdrawal pretty much only lasted ugh, a week, week and a half, I think. Like it was like this like, you know, terrible, awful experience that I never want to go through again, but I got it out of the way in the beginning. You know what I mean? And something that keeps me sober is I never want to go through that again, right? So Taylor Nicole Dean, um, you know, when she talks about this kind of imbalance that happened in her life, when she forgot to take her Suboxone, her body started going into withdrawal. So like I said, you know, there's long-term and there's short-term. There's pros and cons to both. Uh, in case you didn't hear my qualifications earlier, none of them listed that I'm a doctor. So if you are thinking about getting clean or if you're on Suboxone, never quit by yourself or anything like that. Like go talk to a doctor, all right? Have them help you taper off. If you're trying to get clean, talk to them about the options between short-term and long-term. Like one of the reasons I make these videos is I have met countless people, okay? And this isn't to say that all doctors are bad, but I've met countless people where they were not warned that long-term suboxone maintenance would lead to dependence and withdrawal, all right? So with anything, like I don't care if you're an addict or not an addict, when you go see a doctor, ask questions. Like I'm a recovering addict, so whenever I see a doctor, especially a new doctor, I have to sit there and ask them about medications, the different side effects. I have to say, are these, you know, narcotics? Are any of these, uh, you know, potentially addictive because I can't take any of those and all those kind of things. So like, whenever you sit down with a doctor, like it is your right. I think it's also your responsibility as a patient to sit there and say, what am I taking? What are the side effects? Is there withdrawal? Da, 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 da. All these other things. So you can work with your doctor and make the best choice possible, all right? And if you think this video might help someone you know who's struggling with addiction, please share it with them. But again, I do just wanna say one once again, like uh, Taylor Nicole Dean, I, I'm really, really proud of her journey and I look forward to seeing her, her videos and I'm glad that she's using her platform to help teach and educate others. And I'm sure she's inspired countless people from her audience to go out and seek help and that is, just so awesome because the opioid epidemic, the addiction epidemic as a whole is just massive in the United States as well as other parts of the country right now. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I wanna send out a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon or who buys my mental health books or merch. You're all amazing. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.